This is a world's largest smog sucking tower in Dalian, China, which is the largest smog vacuum cleaner ever created. Basic question, so, so what can this smog-free tower do? So basically it's the largest smog vacuum cleaner in the world, so it sucks up pollution from the top, specifically the PM2.5, PM10, the, the, the really small particles which damage you the most, cleans it and releases the particles so we have parks which are 40 to 70 percent more clean than the rest of the city. But wait, why are we talking about this? Well, get ready for a shocking research. Nearly 40% of people in the US are living in places with unhealthy levels of air pollution. A recent report from the American Lung Association has brought to light that the situation is getting worse, with more and more days marked as very unhealthy or hazardous than ever before recorded. This issue isn't just in the US, many countries around the world are facing similar challenges. The 2023 World Air Quality Report shows that countries like Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, Mongolia, and Afghanistan have some of the dirtiest air due to lots of people and industries releasing pollution unchecked. Only seven countries in the world breathe safe air. Three of them are in Europe. Switzerland, Iceland, Australia, and Finland have the most cleanest air, and have also shown that it's possible to maintain clean air even with rapid urbanization. Well, don't worry folks, we have a great solution to tackle this problem and make America great once again. There's a new invention called the Smog Free Tower. So, in this video we will dive deep into this latest Dutch innovation. We will let you know how China is transforming their cities with this technology. We will do a detailed analysis on how much of such smog towers are needed in the USA and India to end air pollution and how many billions of dollars would be needed to make it happen. This is going to be a very interesting and small video, so we recommend you to please watch till end. This is a world's largest smog-sucking tower in Dalian, China. It was designed and developed by Don Rusegard, a Dutch artist, and it does something pretty amazing. The smog-free tower is basically a giant air ionizer. This tower takes in polluted air, cleans it, and then uses the leftover smog particles to make diamonds. Yes, you heard that right, diamonds. Rusegard estimates that, in areas affected by severe air pollution, the smog-free tower will be able to produce over 3,500 cubes a day. So, so how much polluted air can this smog-free yeah. tower purify? So this one sucks up 30,000 cubic meter per hour, so it's like the a soccer stadium within a, soccer a day stadium. and a half. Yeah, so within a very day Very large area. Very large area. And it uses very little electricity um, and it's been traveling around the world. This week we have our China partner yeah. starting production. So we're making more of them throughout China, parks cleaner than the rest of the city. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, there you we have can some see, yeah, the, we can see the, 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 the port of the city. Yeah. Yeah. And the design is actually inspired by Chinese pagodas, by Pagoda Chinese temples. Oh, yeah. So the architecture. The, exactly. So the, the the local people, the local Dalian people, and also the Tianjin and Beijing people, they're calling it the clean air temple. The clear air temple. Which yeah. I think is quite beautiful. Yeah. Each of these towers costs about $54,000. If big cities in the US or heavily polluted places like New Delhi and India were to use several of these towers, it could make a big difference. Each tower can clean up to 30,000 cubic meters of air every hour, which could greatly reduce the amount of pollution in the air. This process is said to create a localized bubble that is up to 75% cleaner than the rest of the city in which it is located. The tower uses a small current to send positively charged ions out into the surrounding air. The ions attach themselves to fine dust particles which are then drawn back into the tower by an internal negatively charged surface and subsequently captured. Rusegard says the tower can clean 30,000 cubic meter of air per hour and runs on a relatively low amount of power. It requires 1,700 watts to operate, and the electricity used to do so is sourced from wind energy. What if every neighborhood in the U.S. has its own smog-free tower? Let's consider the U.S. has about 19,495 incorporated places, including cities, towns, and villages, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. For simplicity, if we install one tower in each neighborhood of these cities, assuming an average of 10 neighborhoods per city, we would need about 194,950 towers. At a cost of $54,000, per tower. The total investment would be approximately $10.53 billion. Turning to India, there are about 7,935 towns and cities as per the census of India 2011. Assuming a similar distribution of 10 neighborhoods per city, India would need approximately 79,350 towers. With each tower costing about $54,000 the total expenditure for India would be around $4.28 billion. Even though the smog-free tower is a cool invention, it's just one part of solving the pollution problem. Uh, so we had a lot of mayors, we had a lot of meetings with mayors, uh, ministers from all around the world who are very interested to work with us uh, to improve the air quality. Yeah. And four weeks ago we launched a scientific report from the Technical University of Eindhoven which actually proves how it works and that it works. 
So we also have the science behind it now. To really tackle air pollution, we need more than just one solution. This includes making stricter rules for pollution using more renewable energy, and helping everyone understand how important clean air is. So this air pollution issue is not a, is not a significant issue only faced by China, it's faced by oh, absolutely. cities and I'm happy that, the And I'm happy that yeah. you say that, because uh, London five weeks ago five weeks was ago. more polluted than Beijing. Really? Delhi is way, way, way more polluted than China, So, or than, than Beijing. So. Um, I was inspired by Beijing sport, but every big city, oh, even my hometown Rotterdam in the Netherlands, has problems with pollution. I think Beijing, China should not feel ashamed about it, but should see it as a platform for innovation. Yeah. Once we solve it, via green technology, electrical cars, smog-free projects, everybody in the world will come to China to see, to learn yeah. and to evolve. So, so, so we love to work together. And it's such a big country with a big, big challenges. Yeah. But I think it's really incredible how you see they're making investments in, in clean energy. America is leaving, like letting go of that. And China's picking it up. So I feel really happy to be part of that movement. What are your thoughts on using such innovative technologies to clean our air? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Together, we can breathe new life into our cities. Thanks for watching.